Dominic, we're on the Matsura stand here at Emo 2017. Firstly, we're going to talk about this new model, the VX660. Why have you introduced this vertical machining centre into the Matsura range? Well, as you know, Paul, you know the VX1000 and the VX1500 have been very successful and popular for us, not only in the UK but obviously around the world. So when, when it was time to bring something new in, you know, many years ago we had the V Plus 660, very, very popular machine with a high speed, high power, high torque spindle machine. So it was time to maybe relaunch that that brand, that name of VX660 back into the market. A lot of the, the promotional work we work with you on is about talking to people about going into um, five-axis machining, uh, non-cutting times, productivity. Is a three-axis machine kind of almost going the opposite way? Yeah, I, yes, in one way. But what we find, being Matsura and, and obviously having sold verticals for, for many, many years, there is still a, 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 a market for a very high precision, high accurate, high speed machining centre. And I suppose what we're looking at here is some companies don't need something as big as a VX1000 or a VX1500, so this could fit perfectly for them, the 660. Correct, and the 660 gives you a nice size, but we've also got a very big Y axis. So oh, what is that? It's 550, so, so you know, we've got 550 in the Y and 660 in the X, which gives you a, quite a big square. And when, when we've looked at the VX1000, you've quite heavily promoted the, the power in the spindles and the, the characteristics of the build of the machine. Are those hallmarks the same with this, this model? That's correct, yeah. So again, we've got 15,000 RPM machine with an 80 mil diameter bearing, 150 newton meters on a, on a high speed. So it's, it's high speed, high power, high torque. And what about the control on this machine as well, Dom? It looks like it's FANUC based. It's obviously the, the GTEC 31i. Is that the same as a FANUC 31i? It, it, that is the control that's on this machine, correct, yes. As is on the majority of our product lineup. So in this market, there's a lot of machine tools that have got FANUCs and Heidenhain controls, for example. But if they did have a FANUC, could they buy this and run their programs through your control straight away? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It is a standard FANUC control. Um, I know it's a three-axis machine. Does it come prepared with a, with a, uh, a fourth-axis interface and things like that? Or what are the options that come with this machine or, or, or can come with it? Well, obviously, it's a three-axis machine. You can make it very easy into a four-axis. Again, you could have a tilt and rotate five-axis table, but obviously we'd be looking to sell you from a Matsura lineup our MX or MAM, MAM range. Um, what about this machine as a standard then? How many tools has it got? I know you mentioned the spindle speed. Does it come with a swarf conveyor? Because you're kind of in that market now where people are looking to buy a machine as a package. So what would it come with as standard? So as standard, it's 30 tools with a conveyor. Optional, you can have 48 tools or 60 tools. Again, which is quite, quite a lot of tools on a vertical. So that makes us a little bit unique. And obviously, you can have high-pressure coolants and probing, as we do with all our other machines. But as standard, it is packaged with 15,030 tools and a conveyor. And when, when will we be able to see this in the UK in, uh, in Colville? We're ordering some today for stock.